Hello, thank you for coming to the site and welcome to Products for Peaceful Operations. I'm the director. My name is Joel Z. Williams. People in my neighborhood call me the poor people's advocate. Today I want to talk to you about what I consider to be a game changer in the world of pesticides in general and bed bugs in particular. Right now, a company in North uh, Kansas City, Missouri is manufacturing a product that I think is now the silver bullet for bed bugs and I'm highly recommending this to you. Um, this, is a, this is a product here, it's known as Cmexa. That's the brand name. It's made by Rockwell Laboratories. As I said, it's a Kansas City, uh, Missouri company. Now, let me, let me tell you why I think, I've been at this for about five years now, um, helping people uh, with limited funds deal with bed bugs. This is a game changer because of three major reasons. Price, low, toxi low, toxi low toxicity, and the ability of laypersons to apply it. It makes this a very deadly thing against bed bugs. Now let me explain how it works. On every bed bug, on the very outside of any uh, insect, but particularly bed bugs, there's a, a, a waxy coating, razor thin, but it's known as the cuticle. You see that shiny, see that sheen on top of this bed bug? This is courtesy, thank you, of uh, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta. But if you, can, if you can see here, there's clearly a shine to it. Now that's caused by a, what is known as a cuticle, and, and it is the waxy outer coating of, of any uh, arthropod, any crawling insect, basically. And what it does is it works to keep the moisture inside of the creature, in, inside of the insect. Now, w w the way that sil amorphous silica this gels work is amorphous silica gel under the microscope. And if you can see, they're very round, non-crystalline, um, blobs, basically, right? Silica gel has been around for years. We've known about its desiccant or drying powder or principal properties for quite some time. Here is uh, what you might commonly see in a pack of beef jerky. If you're a woman and you buy shoes, you're likely to have see this in your purse or your shoe, your boxes of shoes um, when they come new. And it's it's a it's actually authorized by the EPA to be used as an anti-caking agent in cosmetics and foods. So it's, 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 it has a very low toxicity to mammals, somewhere uh, at about LD50 or comparable to about table salt. So it's a very, very important advancement in pest control because it can be used inside the home without a license. Uh, right now, the Environmental Protection Agency uh, has about 300 chemicals that it has been read that have been registered with it to control bed bugs. Only seven of those are authorized for use inside the home, and most of them require that you have a license because of the uh, risk of exposure. I can tell you from personal experience when I had bed bugs, um, the I hired a professional to come out and they sprayed uh, py pyrethrin. Um, uh, named Phantom, a brand name of Phantom. Very effective, very deadly, but highly toxic. I, I wasn't able to come back to the apartment for four hours. And if anything they sprayed it on, I wasn't able to have, I wasn't able to sit down in the furniture, have skin to skin contact. This is different. This works on a totally different principle than an insecticide. Let me show you what's the American Corporation. And they, they came out with a chemical called dry dye. And, and uh, so that was 1956. They've come a long way. And one of the, the important things they've done is they have added an electrostatic charge to this. So it's a fluffy white powder. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna break it out here in a minute, put it in an applicator, show you how to put it on. But it's, imagine a very light, fluffy powder. This is four ounces here of, of the amorphous silica gel, but it probably weighs I, probably less than a half an ounce. It's very light. Uh, I would imagine the container probably weighs more than the, the product inside. Now, let's look, look, uh, look, take a look at it under the microscope up close. Now this is the amorphous silica gel uh, particulates and you can see that they're round blob shaped and this is what makes them so non-toxic to humans because they don't have a crystalline Here's a, structure. An example of diatomaceous earth which is also a silicate but it's phosphide algae and I don't know if you can see this but it's got some really sharp glass pieces. They look like little broken up pieces of glass and you can imagine how that, if that was the crystalline nature of, of the DE, if it gets into your lungs, it can 
cause a condition called silicosis, much like uh, any respiratory irritant. That's, that's what it does. And so the uh, amorphous silica gel differs in the fact that it does not have that property. And it's uh, almost 100% doesn't have any sh uh, sharp objects in it. Now, I'm going to talk about this study. There, in 2013, the, what I consider to be one of the, the preeminent entomologi urban entomologists in the country, his name is Dr. Michael Potter. He uh, is a professor at the University of Kentucky through their agricultural uh, extension unit. He and his colleagues, I, I would imagine grad students, they went out into central um, Kentucky in an in, in, in urban population and they actually tried these powders in real world settings in real people's homes and they advised the, the, the tenants not to try to, to do any self-help method and don't don't do anything and we just want to see the we want to test the efficacy of this this product let me tell you how this did um, within 24 hours of applying just a light dusting of cmexa dust to the box spring mattresses the furniture uh, the, the uh, joints in the furniture and, and, and in the house within 24 hours the the amorphous silica gel from cmexa killed 97.5 percent of all of the insects that they, but it killed 97.5 percent of them within 24 to 48 hours most of them within the 24 uh, uh, hour time range now that's compared to DE, diatomaceous earth, applied the same way, killed only about 10%. So you can see the added benefit of this. Now, um, one thing that I want you to understand is that bed bugs are now building up a tolerance to insecticides. This study took three different strains of bed bugs, one from New York, one from, uh, I think it was Cincinnati, and one from Kentucky. It's three strains that were known to have built up some residual resistance to the pyrethroids, the, the synthetic um, uh, pesticides that they're using, right? This was just as effective on them as it was in the, in the laboratory, as it was in the field, okay? So this is a game changer, folks. This is a game changer. I have been advising people to use plastic sheeting, to use uh, different chemicals, different things. I'm telling you, this is a, for $16.10 was delivered to my house and I uh, purchased the uh, applicator. This is the, the bellows applicator. And I'll show you here in a minute how that works, but it's got a spring inside. You put the powder in here and, and you basically can get this into the voids of your your box spring mattress okay and uh this this costs eleven dollars right but you don't necessarily need this if you have a brush and and uh here's a good example of a brush you might use you can dip it in that powder put it into the cracks and crevices of your bed and the way it works because it has it's such a light fluffy powder that when the bed bugs crawl by it it usually will cling to them much like when you go to get your clothes out of the, the dryer and you get that electric shock that uh, electrostatic charge is going to make those little tiny tiny particulates it's going to cause them to clot up the bed bugs cuticle and it, there's a principle it's called absorption it's not absorption but adsorption and I know that that's a minor, it sounds different, minor, but it works differently. And the reason why that's important is because it, the, the, the uh, amorphous silica gel is not actually absorbing the moisture. What it is doing is that it's transferring the moisture from that cuticle onto the particulate. But it's still, so it won't, and the reason why this is important is because in areas with high humidity, like Florida, uh, uh, you know, anywhere basically in the south in the summer, you don't have to worry about it t drawing the moisture out of the air. So that's a different, it's a technically just one letter difference, but it's adsorption, not absorption, okay? So um, the way it works is it will basically clot up and remove that, out, that waxy outer layer, that cuticle off of that bug, and the bug will simply dehydrate. The water, it will have nothing to keep the, the liquid inside of its body, and it will just naturally aspirate and dry up, just like you had, uh, you take a piece of bread out of the, uh, 
the bag, you, uh, just a long piece of bread, and you leave it on your countertop, and you come back the next day, and it's rather hard. What's happening there is the water is it's losing its water. It's evaporating naturally. All right, I'm almost at 10 minutes, so I better hurry up is you can either apply it as a powder, which I recommend. The tests show that the numbers were much more lethal when it was applied as a powder, but you can also put it in water and spray it, just like you would spray any other household cleaner. You can put it in a, a, a squirt, squirt can and, and spray it. As it dries, uh, it will not absorb the water. Like I said, it, it, it has that different principle, but as the water wicks away from it, it will still have its uh, adsorbative properties, okay? Now, this powder, if left undisturbed, can remain for 10 years, okay? So in areas like in voids, in the walls, in your cracks, in your, in your, in your bed, if you don't have bed bugs, th that acts as a sentinel. It's always waiting for some bug to crawl across it. I can't tell you how excited I am about this. This is a game changer, folks. You can get it online through Amazon. I think there's a company called Bed Bug Supply. It's awesome. I'm telling you, this is going to rewrite the books. This is what the professionals don't want you to know about. All right. My name is Joel Z. Williams. People in my neighborhood call me the poor people's advocate. You will recognize me by my white hat, but you will know me by my virtuous ways. Thank you.